All right, guys, in this gameplay, I'm about to show y'all why Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal are the most dominant duels in NBA history. I'm gonna prove it to y'all in this gameplay, but first, I'm gonna show y'all the badges. Kobe Bryant got a total of 57 badges. That is OP as hell. And nothing but Hall of Fame badges. He got Dead Eye, Mini Bajigian Hall of Fame, Aging Threes. You know what I'm saying? This is. And you got Shaquille O'Neal, a 97 overall, like defense and offense. He got Hall of Fame badges. He's he very OP on, on, on both sides on the court. So we deal with this guy, especially with a, when a person off ball with Shaq, you're gonna have a hard time scoring because he's OP as hell and he's gonna dunk on you. This matchup right here is very good. 2001 Lakers versus the current Celtics featuring Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, or also Paul Zingas. The reason why Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal are scary together because this game, these two guys are 98 overall. Sometimes they label as 97, but let's pretend that they 98, right? They are so OP, they can do what they want to do. You're going to have a hard time competing with this team. Especially when you use this team, you won't be disappointed because they get you what you wanted. Like, each position got a respot, like the center position or the shooting guard position with Kobe Bryant, the center position with Shaq. So, they are so dominant together, it's not even close. Maybe Sky Pippen and Michael Jordan, but this team right here is scary. I think a lot of people in online are gonna use this team a lot. So be be ready to face them because you're gonna be very annoying, especially with Kobe Bryant. Like, I think he OP this year compared to last year because that, that means magician on Hall of Fame is no joke, man. He gonna make those 99.9% .9 of the time. So you cannot leave him open, especially they know how to shoot. And not only that, sometimes that people use Zens on playing online, so you gotta be careful when you play against guys like um, the Zen users because they'll agree it 100% of the time. But if you're not in the timing and shoot with Kobe Bryant, you're not gonna have any issue because his jump shot is money. I like his leaner, his difficult shot, the way he pull up. And not, not only that, the way he finishes around the rim, you can use the dunk beater, he get the biggest green window sometimes, but the only time you get a biggest green window is depends on the situation. The only weak spot they have with the 2001 Lakers is Devin Fisher because he's kind of small, but he know how to shoot with Vivelle. So that weak spot right there is going to be a problem because you're going to go up against like great point guards like Dame Dollar, Stephen Curry, you know, Gary Payton, who else? Um, Holland Burnett and, and guys like that. So you got to be careful if you use Devin Fisher. If you plan on using Devin Fisher, make sure you hide him against a guy that he's not going to use them that often but otherwise you put Isaiah, Isaiah Ryder as a, a starter point guard because he got the height and he could fit very well to help, help out Kobe Bryant but he can't do all by himself but Kobe Bryant got Hall of Fame clamps and nah not, not Hall of Fame because I'm bugging like he got gold clamps anything on defense is gold so he able to play both sides of the ball offense and defense so it don't matter like you could put Kobe Bryant on your best offensive player Maybe Durant or LeBron, I don't know, because LeBron going to bully Kobe Bryant for some reason. So I think that's BS. But whatever, you know, that that's 2K. It is what it is. But this team is very nice. If you know how to use them, they become deadly, man. I'm telling you, especially guys like the off-ball in this game, it's going to be hard to score on these guys. Unless you, you use a 5 out, that's the only way you could beat them. But let's talk about Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq, I'm telling you this right now. I think they made him much better this year than last year. I thought that I thought that they're gonna stop Shaq every time, but not really. No, not to, not this year. Yo, Shaq is very OP. It's really hard to guard this man. Like this guy had a hard time guarding me with Shaq. I think I dropped like 34 points with Shaq. So this Shaq right here is a monster. You know, Paul Ziggins had nothing on Shaq, man. I don't care you 73, 76. It does not matter. You're not stopping Shaq, man. Especially you got a finisher takeover. You're not stopping him. I'm telling you. Like, he'll dunk on you anytime he feel like it. You could throw a loss to Shaq. Like, Shaq is OP, man. Like, I understand people say that, oh, Shaq OP every year. Not really, because sometimes Shaq be bugging out. I ain't gonna lie to you. Sometimes he do dumb mistakes. Like, he not grabbing offensive rebounds. He's just standing there, not playing defense. But this Shaq right here, don't go near Shaq, man. He won't block his shot. I think Shaq got like six blocks or seven blocks in this game. He was blocking like crazy. So, don't play around with Shaq, man. Shaq Diesel. Because he's not here to play with, man. Shaq is, like, is a grown man. So you don't want to mess with that. But like that's what's lacking in today's game. They don't have grown man centers like Shaq. You know what I'm saying? So Shaq would bully these guys in today's game, man. The only people who they could compete with Shaquille O'Neal probably at Jarrell and B. Because he got the badges could match up with that. 
But not even Joel B can match up with him strength by strength because Shaq is strong. Is a strong man. Like he got like a hundred attributes on strength. So you're not gonna stop strength, especially if you hold Tobo while you're posting up. He will back you down like real, like aggressively. Like he will push you out of your way if you use Tobo. We post. Cause a lot of people don't use Tobo when they backing down, but we use Tobo to back him, back people down with Shaq. Like, you, you will feel that strength. You're like, damn, man, how you supposed to stop it? It, it would look so easy using Shaq. So Shaq gonna be a problem this year, man, I'm telling you. I'll be annoyed playing against Shaq, man, cause guys is toxic in this community. So they'll do whatever it takes to get a win. But let's talk about the team, man. The team is very good. Like, if you wanna post up with Shaq, just put Wobble Orby at the four, because if you put Hawes Grant there, they're gonna double team Shaq. You need some spacing, so you want Leave a guy one-on-one -on -one in the island with Shaq. Make sure you put Wobble Ori at the four. So that way, you can shoot the three ball. You see that dumb meter with Kobe Bryant? See, I don't know why they're giving out small meter, man. It makes no sense. 2K got to do something about that. That guy has no defense. But Kobe Bryant get a small green window. It makes no sense, man. I think the dunk meter, the dunk meter, the green window is very inconsistent. You never know you get a bigger green window or a small green window. It makes no sense. I understand like you're trying to dunk on Joel and B. Yeah, you should get a small green window. But I'm lucky enough to time it because I'm good to time those dunks. But not every time, man, because you got like the, the 2K logic is gone, man. It's very gone. And, and people get confused like, oh, wait a minute. He's supposed to be underneath the rim. It don't matter you underneath the window. Nah, he has no defense, period. Like if you got a low, uh, if you have low interior defense, you should have a bigger green window. If you're a slasher, like if you have like a 95 dunk, all fame, gold poster wise or whatever, you su you supposed to get a biggest green window. How come as a three pointer, a, a three point shoot shooter get a biggest green window but not a slasher? It doesn't make any sense. That's what I mean by 2K logic is gone. So make that make sense, man. And look, you see that block by Shaquille O'Neal. Oh man. But anyway, like this 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 Sussex team right here is number one in this game. But I treat them like they number 30. Because this team right here, 2001 Lakers, they too much, man. I'm telling you, you gotta learn how to use Kobe Bryant. I did with Kobe Bryant, I dropped like 34 points too as well. I dropped 30, 30 points with Shaq and Kobe Bryant. So co combine the points, they like they they probably had like 65 or 67 points in total. So I only give it to Shaq and Kobe, nobody else, unless they open. But Hey, two man versus five, man. Who's gonna stop that? Hey, look at this box score, man. Look at the box score. Scary. 